Hi everyone, this is just a quick guide to the clutch mass cylinder change on Mark 8 Civic. Um, one of the first symptoms you might notice that needs, needs doing is an excessively dark clutch fluid. So you might think it just needs changing, but if it's dark it usually means that one of the seals has gone in the master cylinder. You might experience this as being a really inconsistent pedal, um, especially on longer drives. The master cylinder itself lives right on top of the pedal, so underneath the dashboard here, it's all as part of the clutch pedal assembly. You can't quite see it from the front, but it is up there. Um, a little bit of a pain to do, so you need to be quite flexible, and the actual access is easy to do. Um, this cover pops off just underneath the steering wheel, and then there's a little cap on the end, and then, at least on mine, it's just one little um, cross-headed screw holding things in. When that's out of the way, you can get Underneath, to see the clutch pedal itself, there's four 12mm bolts holding this onto the bulkhead. So to get to these, you'll probably have to lie on your back with your head looking up underneath the dashboard. Can't really see it here, but it is quite an uncomfortable job to do. I say there's four of these 12mm bolts. See here, me doing the top one. There's another one there, slightly below it. The top ones are reasonably easy to get access to. I've got a long headed uh, socket there with an extension. So the lower ones as you see here, the steering column kind of gets in the way so you might need a shallower socket on there just to work around that, make them accessible. They should be relatively straightforward to get off once you crack them off. As you see here you can spin them off by hand. And again, you're using some extensions to get right up to the top ones to loosen them off. You see there, there's the, the heater blower fans there as well. So this is a job where you have to take off the clutch pedal realistically to get access to that. And there I've just disconnected this, the switches off the pedal itself, like the clutch position sensor, I think it is. And there, that's the little circlip that's going to make this job a bit easier. So rather than undoing the brake hose itself to the slave cylinder, you just want to try and pry that clip off. And then there's a feed from the reservoir, which has got a little spring clip. Once you do take that off, as you can see there, it will leak quite quickly. So you get some horrible fluid. I just stuck the screwdriver in to plug it temporarily and then I should have had this earlier, but I found a jam jar just to collect a little bit of what was seeping off. With the whole clutch pedal assembly off the car, you can see there that's a little clip we undid. And there's two 12mm bolts that hold the cylinder onto the assembly itself, which I'll undo now. And then on the other side, you might need some grips for this, but there's a little circlip you can just pull off on the pin. And that's what holds the end of the master cylinder onto the actual pedal bracket itself. So once they're done, you can pull that out of the way. And that is what the master cylinder looks like. Some of these are listed quite expensive, but I did get this TRW part for it's about £30 rather than the £100 plus that I was seeing elsewhere. And it's exactly the same part, so there's no worries there. So... This is just to test fit it back on. This is something you might want to get familiar with. I wouldn't recommend fitting it back on and putting it in the way that we took it out. It's going to be a lot easier to do it separately, but a lot of that was going to be blind, so you just want to get used to putting the pin back in, putting the cylinder back in place and getting the pin in, because you're going to have to do that pretty blind and by feel. And again, on the new part, instead of having that little U-shaped pin, had um, separate sort of pins in there that were holding the little um, adapter in so I pulled those pins out because I'm going to put that u-shaped pin back in so back underneath I'm just going to swap the old um, little I call it an, an adapter but the end back over it is slightly different but it's nice just to use a new one quite easy 17 um, mil on the bigger side and then I'm just using a brake pipe spanner on the smaller side. It's easy to do this with everything up out of the way. So this is nice and tight and on now. 
and then we can offer up the new master cylinder in place with nothing really to get in the way we're going to put on that feed hose first so that will clip onto the little plastic nipple on the new master cylinder and then i'll use the little um like mole grips just to move the spring clip back on to keep that secure and in place again you're doing this upside down so it's a little bit more tricky than it looks a little bit more painful than it looks once that's in place you should be able to pull the little u-pin out slot nicely on again and then you've got loads of space now just to put the pin in to retain the uh, slave cylinder pipe in place and then you need to maneuver the rest of the bracket back on there's a technique to it but it's not too difficult this is much easier than trying to get it all back together and on that pipe and the hose with everything together so this is the easier approach i found but with the bracket going up in place and then roughly locating it near where the bolts are or the threads you can start to move the master cylinder into position and you're going to want to put the um so the bracket side that's going to go onto the pedal on first i'm touching it there just out of view and just to speed this up pop that bit on and put the pin back in and the clip and then just start to put some of the brackets back in place and the bolts so just speeding this bit up here but it's kind of reversing the way we took it off now tightening up all the bolts making sure everything's lined up and then these are the, the plug going back in for the, the pedal the little sensors on the pedal itself I'm going to replace this with some dot 4 fluid, got some Brimbo fluid here from um, GSF and this is going to help a lot so I've used a prime bottle that was lying around just to make a little vacuum so it's really difficult to bleed this with all the air that's been introduced in the system without this so if you've got a, a vacuum bleeder great but say so you can make something at home for this and this is me using um, the vacuum to basically draw out the air whilst opening the the nipple on the slave cylinder. I have a little assistant to do this for me to push the brake pedal down as the nipple's opened. As you can see here, it'll start drawing the fluid through. I found without this technique, it just wasn't drawing anything through. So it obviously you need this to really to start priming it to get the fluid to move and get the air to push out. And then once you start pumping the pedal, you may just get a few extra little bubbles coming through. Just like so, which is what you want to see. And the dirty fluid starting to be pushed out the way. And you have to remember to keep the, um, the, the reservoir topped up at the process of doing this. Do once more. Can do it again. It's a little bit of a time consuming job. This is a somewhat sped up because it will take a while. Sit down. Sit down. Then as you start pumping the brake pedal, you should be able to open it up and then see quite a bit of progress coming through, just like so. So lots of air being pushed out. That's how you know you're on the right tracks of this because this is the tricky part, trying to get the system refilled and bled. You'll know you're making progress when the pedal actually starts to push back again or you'll start to see the slave cylinder actually moving in and out so here just topping the reservoir up trying to clean out the dirty fluid bleeding 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 and so don't be worried if this takes you know, a good bit of time to do, and you can see the slave cylinder just starting to move there, which is what we want to see as the pedal's being pushed. But essentially, you want to push it all the way down and then open it up. And eventually, once you're happy, you can start transferring this off to a normal bleeding method using the easy bleed one way 
hose here just into that jam jar again to try and flush the system through I did clean this out so I didn't pump it dry I once I was happy I cleaned it all out soaked it all up made sure the reservoir was nice and clean and all the deposits were gone then filled it all up and cleaned off the reservoir again just around that area and then could test this now with the engine running just making sure it goes into gear and you've got a good bite point and that's pretty much it um, as you can see this is the fluid that came out of the old master cylinder and then the rest that I pumped through the system this is after the vacuum process as well so you see those deposits in the bottom that's probably what's left of a bit of the old seals feel free to like and um, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and let me know if you've got any thoughts